Hello, today I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how to install a Half-Life dedicated server on a Linux machine. Um, I'm actually following along with a thread at my forums. I typed the URL here, and I'll also put it in the comments. Um, you can look at that and see exactly what I'm doing. If you get lost during the video or something, just go ahead and check, check that thread. It'll show you exactly how to do it as well. Um, the first thing that I want to do when I'm creating my server is create a new user to run that server. I don't want to have to always run the server as root, so it'll be really convenient to have a new user. So I'll use the add user command to create one. Um, I'm going to call this user gamer2. And I'll just basically just use the default settings for everything by pushing enter. I will use bash as my shell though. I do want a password and I don't want an empty password or a random one so now it'll give me a chance to enter in my password. I don't want to lock the account either. Um, now it's going to recap my user creation for me. Um, if, the, if you did everything right and you didn't make any weird mistakes or anything just type yes. I'm going to click no. I'm going to type no because I actually already have a user for it. Um, Now I'm going to go to the directory that I want to install it in. Now I'm going to make a new directory to put the server in um, using the make directory command, mkdir. I'm going to call this directory server3. And that dot slash just means that I'm putting it in this directory that I'm already in. I'm putting it in user slash home slash server3. Alright, now looking at the directories that I have listed looks like server 3 is down here but it's owned by root and that's not good I want it to be owned by my gaming user which is gamer um, so I'm gonna have to change the ownership of the directory so chown changes the ownership dash capital R makes it recursive so any subdirectories of server 3 will also be owned by gamer and then I put my username and the group which is gamer colon gamer and then the directory that I want to change the ownership of which is server 3. Now if I click ls space dash l I can see that server 3 is owned by gamer which is what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to switch my user to gamer su space gamer um, and now go to the directory cd space dot slash server 3 now that I'm in the directory where I want to install it, I need to actually get it. Um, you can find the what you're installing is the Half-Life dedicated server update tool and you can find this tool at store.steampowered.com slash about. Um, that's where I found the URL and I'm going to use the fetch command which gets stuff from the internet. So fetch space http colon front slash front slash storefront.steampowered.com slash download slash hlds update tool dot bin and that's downloading it into the server 3 directory now that I've downloaded it I need to change the mode of it I need to change it to execute so I can actually do that so I use the change mode command with the chmod plus x which changes it to execute and hlds update tool dot bin that specifies that I want to do it to that file now I run the hlds update tool I type yes to x to accept the agreement and now it's extracted steam to this directory and once again I have to change the mode of steam to execute and I'll run it. Um, I'm going to be installing a C0 server, so I'll put dash game C0. Um, but there are a number of games you could install. You could install C Strike, which is Counter Strike. You could install Day of Defeat. You could install Team Fortress Classic or Deathmatch Classic or a number of other Half Life games. Um, but I'm doing C condition zero. Um, dash directory space period, so it's going to install it in the current directory. That's what the period means. 
um, and this will take a little while. I'll actually have to run the command a couple of times, and it's going to download a bunch of stuff to the directory. Um, just give it, depending on your internet speed, it might even take a half hour for it to work. Just give it a little while. Um, and in the meantime, I'll pause the, uh, the uh, video so you don't have to watch it all download. Well, my installation is finally done. Um, I actually had to run that command a couple of times for it to work. Oh, you can't scroll up that high. This was about the fourth time that I ran the command right here. And I knew that the installation was done because it told me Half-Life HLDS installation up to date. So now my server is completely installed and I can actually run it now. And I run it with the following command. Dot slash HLDS underscore run minus game space C0 dash well plus port 27017 that's the port that I wanted to run my server on because I've already got it I've already got two servers running on port 27015 and 27016 plus max players 2 plus map de dust 2 cz then hit enter and it will start my server running. Connection to Steam server successful. Vax secure mode is activated. Type exit to close the server. And that's the installation of it, but now I've got to get it configured.